The Bible is the first book ever printed on a printing press, and it is the number one bestseller and the most read book of all time. But it is also the most scrutinized, most attacked, and most burned book throughout history. Someone once said, the Bible is the anvil of God, and the hammers of infidels have pounded on it for centuries. Kings, emperors, and popes have burned it, but the hammers wear out, and the anvil endures. I have learned from experience that most critics of the Bible have never read it. If you have not read the Bible from cover to cover, and then studied it thoroughly, then you are not really biblic biblically educated. Today is your opportunity to learn. I think this is the most important information you will ever receive. At the end of this message, you will either reject or believe the good news that Jesus Christ died on a cross so that your sins could be forgiven. Listen, all the world's religions have their books, but only the Bible is the true word of God. God wants you to know the truth and have complete confidence in the Bible. So God has decided to prove the Bible is his book by writing history in advance. Only God can predict the future with 100% accuracy. That's why there are no prophecies in the Koran or the Book of Mormon or the Vedas or any of the other world's religious books. They don't dare predict the future because they would be exposed as false religions. Fulfilled Bible prophecy authenticates the Bible as the true Word of God. There are thousands of prophecies throughout the Bible. In the life of Jesus alone, uh, between his birth, crucifixion, and resurrection, Jesus fulfilled 108 prophecies. These prophecies were clear, specific, detailed predictions about a future person and events. Don't compare Bible prophecies to the predictions of people like Nostradamus, Edgar Cayce, Gene Dixon. <laughs> Their predictions were vague and inaccurate. I will review a, a few of these uh, Bible prophecies now. And then we will look at mathematical probabilities. Let's see if these were just random chance occurrences. The Bible predicted the genealogy of the Messiah must come from the family line of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, Jesse, and David. It predicted he would be born from a virgin. It predicted he would be born in Bethlehem. It predicted his ministry would begin in Galilee. It predicted he would perform miracles. The blind would see, the, the deaf would hear, the lame would walk, and the dead would be raised to life. It predicted he would be betrayed by his friend. That was Judas. It predicted he would be betrayed for exactly 30 pieces of silver. It predicted he would be abandoned by his disciples. It predicted his hands and feet would be pierced. That is a description of crucifixion 800 years before crucifixion was even invented. It predicted he would be executed between two criminals. It predicted he would be buried in a rich man's tomb. It predicted he would be raised from the dead. It predicted he would be rejected by his own people, the Jews. And it predicted he would become the light to the Gentiles. 
These are only a few of the 108 prophecies that could be listed. Jesus fulfilled all 108. The odds of all that happening is astronomical, beyond uh, mathematical certainty. Here's another amazing prophecy. <laughs> the prophet Daniel predicted an order would be issued to rebuild the city of Jerusalem and that 483 years later the Messiah would enter Jerusalem but be executed. Just as predicted, Artaxerxes issued the order to rebuild Jerusalem and 483 years later to the exact day Jesus entered Jerusalem as the Messiah and he was executed by crucifixion. That's right. Daniel's prophecy was accurate to the exact day 483 years later. There are also many prophecies about the future of cities in that region. Uh, here's one example. Ezekiel predicted that Nebuchadnezzar would completely destroy the city of Tyre. He predicted all that would remain of the city would be bare rock. He predicted the debris from the city would be thrown into the waters. And he predicted the city would never, re uh, never be rebuilt on its original site. Ezekiel's prophecy was correct in every detail. Maybe a, a more recent uh, fulfillment of prophecy would uh, convince you. The Bible predicted the nation of Israel would be destroyed and the Jews would be dispersed. They would be forced to live in other countries all over the world for a very long time. Then they would regain their nation. Does that sound familiar? Just as predicted, in 70 AD, Titus conquered Jerusalem and the Jews were dispersed all over the world. They did not have their own country until May 1948 when the United Nations re-established nationhood for Israel. Did you know that no people in the history of the world have lost their nation for hundreds of years and ever regained it? But that is exactly what happened with Israel and it was all predicted in the Bible 